just me me with budget with me and guys i am super excited so i may zoom you guys out just so let me go let's zoom out a little bit so we are almost to 500 subscribers that is insane we're almost to 500 subscribers and as you guys know i did say that once we reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing another giveaway and this giveaway is gonna be big i was gonna hold off on doing like a really big giveaway for when i hit 1000 but it's christmas time so we're gonna do a big one at 500 and then we're probably gonna do a big one again at a thousand um but a couple things i am still working on <sighs> let me not say i'm working on it i haven't worked on it in the past couple of days i'm trying to like draw inspo inspiration um from places and i want it to look a certain way and i don't want to rush and put out products just for the sake of putting out products to sell if i want to sell something i want it to be nice i want it to have good quality so i know i said that i wanted to try to have things done before christmas but it's looking like it's going to be pushed back just a little bit more because i want it to be as close as perfection as possible and I'm testing out different products to make sure that what I want them to do, they will do. So, not going to get too much into it because I don't want to give away too much and let you guys know what I have in the works. Because I want to just release it all to you guys. Um, and I did open up my Etsy shop and I had some Etsy sales. So, I actually need to update this and put those Etsy sales on here. It wasn't that many and it wasn't a lot of money because I did have on Etsy, um, what's it called? uh the etsy like marketing ad thingy like i was doing that every day so that took some of my money away so i probably won't do that again because it took like a like half of it <laughs> like literally half of the money was gone because of that so probably won't be doing that again and before we even do this i do want to show off the prize that i won from here to there journey so i was her let's zoom you guys out some more so you can see the whole thing so i was her giveaway winner and the giveaway came with this really pretty binder um like i love it like i love this material like i may switch i may switch things up because i love this like this feels amazing um it came with 12 envelopes i did remove them because um, my boyfriend actually has been telling me that he wanted to get a binder of his own. So I was like, well, I, I really don't want to give him like a pink binder. But I mean, it's not like he's going to take it anywhere. So it really didn't matter. So I just went and used some of the envelopes that were given to me in the binder. It had 12 all together. I'm going to show you what I did with the other products. Um, but it had 12 all together. And I just made him like a few categories um that i thought that he would like use um which i mean i don't know if he'll use them i don't know if he'll want to add more but i did make a few of them for him so i'm actually going to be giving him this binder but it's going to live on my desk because it looks pretty with all my other ones and the other product that i received with that binder is it here yes it is in here was let me take it out and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna be using it for so if i'm not mistaken she did put this live on her etsy shop um i will link her etsy shop down below i know she has a couple products on there she um she opened it not too long ago so it came with these trackers which are labeled for every month of the year um, and I have a scratch off challenge that is that I'm using for um, like extra savings. So I was like, what can I do with this? Because I didn't just want her to give me something that I wasn't going to use. So I decided that I'm going to actually put it inside of my holiday binder. Because if you guys can see, each one of her trackers actually goes with a different holiday. So I figured depending on why did one of them look oh no it just it just says happy father's day and i probably won't use this you know what yes i will i'll use it for father's day june is my birthday so i was just like i was about to be like no i'm gonna use it for me but no i'll use it for father's day it's fine um so i decided i counted like each one of these little um 
I don't, I don't know what they're called. I, I guess they're fireworks. <laughs> I counted each one of these fireworks and then each one of the um, little hats. And I don't know what any of these things are called. And I know what they're called, but I'm drawing a blank. But I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Um, and then I also counted the banner. And what I'm going to do is based on my holiday budget for the month, I'm just going to use this as like a fun way to track it. Uh, so each one came out to five dollars for each one equaling up one hundred dollars and i'm actually going to do that for uh every day of the month i'm gonna turn it this way yeah i like the way it looks like that yeah i'm gonna do it for every day of the month i said every day of the month I'm going to do it for every holiday throughout the year because I do want to utilize these because I think they're so gorgeous. And she did say like she didn't put any amounts on so you can kind of make what you want to make the amounts to be. And I just wrote on the back because the back is it's white um, what each one represented. And it is going to be inside of this binder. Super excited to use that and I actually oops I'm bending them I actually went ahead and posted why can I talk I didn't post anything I purchased <laughs> oh god guys I purchased these like highlighter marker type of things um for them they're really pretty um, I did test out like a few I'm just gonna show them to you so they're kind of similar to like mid liners um, I said mid liners, mild liners, um, coloring, highlighter. I can't talk, guys. Excuse me. I, I it's late. <laughs> I'm filming this very late. I work today. Um, the twins came back home from spending time with their grandmother, and I'm just tired. <laughs> so I cannot talk right now. But I didn't want to make you guys wait for the video, so I said, let me just get up and post it. So. And like it bleeds through a little bit but it actually doesn't bleed through as much as i would think that it would because it's highlighters but they are so pretty and i think oops i think it'll work great on that paper like look at these colors they're like really vibrant too oh and it, this one comes with two separate sizes so there's like a fine tip and then the one that i'm using so i'm gonna be using these on her tracker cards like I'm gonna be using these colors on her tracker cards because I have um, wet erase markers and then I also have regular markers and I didn't want to use I didn't want to use those so I decided to make a purchase for these and then I purchased like a bunch of product things which I'm not going to pull all of them out because some of them are huge. Um, but yeah, they're going to help me. Oh, one more thing she did give me. So she actually gave me a cash deposit um, teleslip and then also a cash withdrawal teleslip. Like, look how cute these are. I love the background. It's so cute. And then she did put her page name on here and if i'm not mistaken this is all this is her etsy shop and her youtube channel name so it's here to their journey if you guys would like to support her she is trying to climb up her subscribers i think she was at i think she was at 200 or maybe 300 if she's not at 300 we're speaking into existence that she's getting to 300 um but um go ahead and support her she's trying to build up her watch time as well so i've been binge watching her videos um i try to watch every single one of them that comes out so go support her because she's very supportive of me she watched all of my videos and my playlist so i'm forever grateful for her thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> but in this video let's get into the root of the video we will be doing my monthly budget as well as my december week one budget because i didn't want to post two separate videos and they were going to be super short so I'm going to write on here Etsy and oh wait, this is my monthly budget. Scratch that. Etsy does not go on here. 
So monthly budget, we're going to keep the monthly budget at the same that it was for last month. So the total is still going to be 5,500. Oops. Yep, the total is going to be 5,500. And I am going to try to make minimum $800 a week. So there are four weeks in December that I get paid. So that's $8,200. $8,200. Y'all, <laughs> 3200 what is wrong with me? <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I really need to go to sleep. <laughs> so minus that from the 55 that's $2,300. And that's what we'll be pulling from our others. <sighs> Y'all are probably like, what is wrong with her? I'm just tired. I'm just tired, guys. That's all it is. I'm just tired. It's been a long day. I took a nap and everything, but I'm still just, you know, like when you overwork, we're well, not really overwork, but when like you get home from work and you're just tired, like that's, that's what I am. So working out the budget, these items, these items here are everything that's going to be in my bills binder. Some of these will not be cash stuffing and I will tell you a little bit why once we get to that category. So for Apple, which is my first one, we are budgeting $110 for that. Um, car note is four sixty five. dollars The light bill, I budget about $150 for each month. My cell phone bill is now $88. Hopefully, it'll stay within that range. Um, health insurance. So, I did get the quotes for all four of our health insurance policies, and I actually have enough to pay for them for the next two months. So, I actually will not be including this within the budget. My car insurance is two sixty five. Um, my internet bill is thirty dollars. Um, Navy Federal gets one hundred dollars for me. Rent is five twenty five. Rooms to go seventy five. Subscriptions I budget about a hundred and eight um, a month, and I will stop budgeting a hundred and eight a month once I pay my Amazon subscription because i do have it yearly and then i'll lower the budget a little bit or i might keep it the same just to have the money there and then water i'm actually not going to budget water because i have enough in there for at least one more month so i'm not going to budget that so if we total all of these items together So that totals up to be $1,916. Put that off to the side. Um, gas for this month. Um, let's see. Okay, guys, the reason that I did my total again is because it looked a little off because I have it written out on side of me and that wasn't the total of what I, I had uh, before. So I just have like the totals for each category written out on side and that's how much I can put towards it. Uh, and it wasn't adding up and that's because my insurance is not 265, it's 256. So that was, there was an extra, um, there was extra on there. So it actually is $1,907. That is my monthly bills for this month. Next up is gas. I am lowering my gas budget. Uh, oops. I am lowering my gas budget for this month. We're going to see how this works. And if I have to go back to my original budget, we will. But for this month, we're going to budget $40 for gas. And then I may just start rolling over some of it. Um, I might. I don't know. Food, we are lowering this all the way down to $80 still challenging myself to not spend any money on food because i can cook at home um and then giving i actually up this one to forty dollars for the month 
Uh, next up is my sinking funds and for family birthdays. Guys, when I did my unstuffing video, I told you guys that I didn't have a family birthday that came up until April. My mom's birthday is in March. As well as one of my little brothers. <laughs> so, yeah. Even though I don't think either one of them will want anything, I, I just forgot their birthdays. I'm so terrible because I'm so focused on my other little cousin because she just keeps telling me my birthday's in April, my birthday's in April, my birthday's in April. Like I know your birthday's in April. So I was just so focused on her birthday because she's drilling it in my ear. <laughs> All right. So family birthdays, I'm going to budget $60. Ooh, why this jump? Date night, I need to up this because stuff is expensive. We went to the escape room over the weekend. If you guys haven't done one of those, I do recommend to check them out. Um, we have quite a few where I live at. Um, but we went to an escape room over the weekend and I decided to pay for it this time. And yeah, I'm going to just say yeah. <laughs> uh, family fun, we're going to budget $20. Uh, the twins, $300. Miscellaneous is not getting anything this month. Neither is Marco. And that's only because Marco has enough of everything he needs. Uh, beauty is getting $50. I am going to put some money in gym because I do want to start purchasing some gym clothes. Hair is going to get $100 because I think I'm going to do my hair myself. So I don't need that much. Um, investments, not getting anything. Personal, $50. Um, retirement also I'm going to start putting some money in there $50 and then savings gets 10% of my income so that is $320 that is going into savings shopping most of these are getting $50 guys shopping getting 50 the second birthdays that I have which is for friends and family birthday is going to get $30 I do have my boyfriend's sister's birthday coming up next month so I do want to have some money in there for that uh, car maintenance is getting $50. Clothing is getting $55. Health, we are going to start budgeting $100 because I do have some medical bills that I do need to start focusing and, and paying off. Holidays, also $100. Uh, household, $50. The second miscellaneous, again, we're not going to put anything in there. That is only for like a buffer if I overspend in those binders, which I haven't done so far. Uh, giveaways, we are putting um, $38 for the month. My business essentials, which was my shipping um, envelope, I decided to change it because I do want to get a QuickBook subscription and that's going to be something that I'm strictly using for business. So I needed an envelope to go for like all of these things. So anything that is for my business is going to be in business essentials. And then for this month, we are budgeting $30. Uh, um, supplies, we are budgeting $300. And I think that $300 is already gone. <laughs> and then um, taxes is 20% of my income, which is $640. So let's just add this up and make sure that I did this total correct. So $2,523, and that is what I have over here. All right, and then for my savings challenges, the ones that I'm going to be doing is emergency, vacation, and scratch off. I'm also going to start putting money to the side for other challenges because I do have a couple challenges that are coming to me. I did win another giveaway from Star Budgets check her and her etsy shop and her youtube channel out once i get the products i will be linking her products down below in my description box but for now i just wanted to let you guys know that i want her giveaway also i'm so excited i just keep winning all this stuff and i just I'm, i need to find ways to 
actually use them so i'm gonna put other challenges because i don't know which ones i'm actually gonna do but i'm gonna put other here so for emergency this month we are going to budget 100 100 for vacation um my scratch off challenge i'm putting 150 because i can't remember which card was 150 like like the ones that i'm sending to you guys i put in the corner of the card the actual amount um but the ones that I had for myself, I didn't put the amounts and I literally don't even remember the amounts. And then for other challenges, I'm going to budget $200 for them because I do have quite a few and I do want to use all of them. All right. So if we add these total up, so for my savings, we have one fifty, uh, five fifty. for my thinking funds, we have twenty five twenty three. For gas is 400, food is 80, giving is 40, and then my bills for the month is 1907. So that totals up to $5,500, which is my monthly budget. And now we're going to move into my weekly budget. So moving along into my weekly budget, my weekly budget is broken up into four weeks um, for that. And for this week, I do need to add Etsy on here because I did have an Etsy payout. Uh, Etsy. And my delivery income for this week was $837. Um, from other, we are taking $538. And then my Etsy pay was $29. So total for this week will be cashed up in $1,404. And then as you guys know, my bills, I actually break that down over four weeks. So the totals here, I just divided them by four. And then that is what I'll be cash stuffing here. So for Apple, it is getting $28. Car note, 117. The light bill will be 38. Cell phone, 22. Health insurance, nothing. Car insurance, 64. Internet 8, Navy Federal 25, um, rent 132, rooms to go 19, subscriptions 27, and then water will not be getting anything. So we're going to go ahead and add all of those up here. And that totals up to not what I have here. So let's do it one more time. This is why I triple check just to make sure that my amounts are correct. Okay, that's what I have over here. So for this week, we'll be cash stuffing $480 into our bills. For our cash envelopes, gas is going to get $100. Food is going to get $20. And honestly, $20 is perfect because I don't use the money. I haven't been using the money. I've been passing up food places i think i ate one time this week um and i just stopped and got something quick but i've been doing pretty good all right moving on to my sinking funds so family birthdays will be getting 15 dollars date night will be getting 25 dollars family fun five the twins 75 we're skipping miscellaneous and marco Beauty is getting 10, gym 10, hair 25, skipping investments, personal 10, retirement 10. My savings is going to be getting 10% of what I made um, from my delivery income. So that is $83.70. I bumped it up to 84 shopping is going to be getting 10 birthdays is getting 10 car maintenance is getting 10 clothing 15 health i'm gonna budget 25 but my health one i am using a scratch off card for it so i'm gonna budget 25 though um holidays will be doing 25 
household 10. This one is getting skipped this month. So giveaways is getting $8 from my Etsy income. And then the other money is actually coming from what I budgeted. So $26. So all together in giveaways, we'll be putting $34. My business essentials, I will be putting, um, uh, what am I putting in here? I'm putting $10 from my regular pay and then um, $5 from the pay that I got from Etsy. So that's a total of $15. Supplies, we'll be putting $75 from my regular pay and then $10 from my Etsy pay. So that is $85. And then taxes is going to get 20% of both. Um, which is... 173 and 20 cents i'm just going to go ahead and put 174 in it um oh, didn't add other challenges here and i don't like the way that looks i don't know why my screen keeps jumping i keep touching something down here and it's like making me zoom out it's probably like a feature or something and i just don't know what it is all right so emergency is getting 25. Same for vacation. Scratch off is <laughs> it's a it's listen, it's a really odd amount that I'm putting in here, but I'm budgeting $38 because I budgeted $150. And if you take $150 divided by four, it's $37.50. So I just bumped it up to $38. Probably won't use the $38 though. And then other challenges was the remaining of $24. So if we add these up, I'm gonna do these first and then I'll go back and add my sinking funds. That totals to $112. And then sinking funds, if we add all of these up, this one's so weird <laughs> um, doing this with my left hand because I'm right-handed. And 20, 30, 15, 50. So that totals up to 653 and if we add all of these amounts together, oh wait, what I do? 130, 112, 653, and 480, wait, what did I do? What did I do? I think I didn't add, I don't think I added my original Etsy income, but it's right. <laughs> it's right, you guys. I promise you it's right. Um, I didn't add the Etsy income when I did the budget at first. I added it afterwards. So the six, well, no, let me figure it out. Hold on, guys. This is why you always double check, triple check, check. So I went ahead and added up my sinking funds again because... I must have missed something when I was adding it up on a calculator. So this total was $682. I knew I was going to catch it. So, yep, now it is right. So my weekly budget will be cashed up in $1,404. And then I'm actually going to just write out on my teller slip um, the denominations that I'm going to need for this. And then I'll take this to the bank with me and then I will actually cash stuff for you guys tomorrow because that is when um, I actually can get paid. I can get paid out tomorrow. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. If you would like this product, this is available in my Etsy shop. It does not come laminated. I am going to be offering it laminated in, in the near future. I won't say when, but the near future, it is going to be offered laminated. Right now, it comes on a sheet of six. Um, and it has different colors. If you guys want to print it out, you can laminate it yourself. I made it so that it can be laminated. So, yeah. Um, in my next video, hopefully we have reached 500 subscribers so that I can go ahead and let you guys know we're going to be giving away. But until then, I will see you guys for my next video, which will be my cash stuffing video. But have a good night.